Hello, grandmother. Spencer! How are you? Oh, I'm happy to see you. Esme sends her sympathies. She's interning at Spring Ridge tonight, but I'm here for you. Thank you so much. Well said, Spencer. Tonight, we are indeed all one family, despite our differences. Oh, Luke. In life, he always cast a, a large shadow. To die in such a random accident just doesn't have the sense of poetic beauty one would have expected of him. Get out of here, Victor. And take your burly Doberman with you. Oh, uh, Johan isn't here only for me. He's here for all of us. Luke may be dead, but he has a long list of enemies. And they are all still very much alive. You know you don't belong here, Victor. And Luke would be the first to tell you that, so get out. Well, as Luke is silent and likely to remain so. I'm sure Mac would be happy to send a patrol car over to have you removed from the boat. Calling the police commissioner, isn't that a bit of an overreach? Not when it's my husband. Ask yourself, Victor, do you really want to escalate? Time to tap out is before things get broken. Uncle Victor, a gentleman shouldn't stay when he's been asked to leave. Oh, Spencer. You are so right. Johan, we're leaving. Oh, uh, do give Luke my best. Hopefully you can tell him yourself, in person. The sooner the better. <laughs> Victor mercifully gone, we can focus on this celebration of Luke's life. Yes. You really are shameless. You'll use anything, even Luke's death, to try to make yourself out to be the good guy. Spencer, can we drop this, please, for one night? Laura, I'm going to do you a favor, and I'm going to take these two guys out of here. I don't want to go, go anywhere with her. Let's go. Too bad. Are you OK? 